Hi and welcome to Messy Goes Wild. Uh, if you've never been here before, uh, I'm out here in the wilderness camping, trying to survive. Uh, and I just ordered this, well I just ordered this book, I ordered this book before, I, like whenever I was planning my trip. <laughs> but don't forget to like and subscribe to my video and comment down below if you guys have any advice on camping or surviving in the wilderness. Also, check out my Patreon because I have some pretty cool packages there, and any support is helpful. So this is the book that I ordered. It is called Foraging California, and it has some pretty cool information in here. Um, so I've just been reading it to find out like what I can forage in California. There's different types of mustard, which I did not know. I've only known like the big leaf one, um, like the roundish leaf mustard. I didn't know this was also mustard, so that's pretty interesting. But I, I really recommend if you're gonna be out in the wild that you get a book on foraging or <laughs> how to survive in the wilderness, which I did not get a how to survive in the wilderness book, but I have this one. We're gonna be using this book for a while. As you can see, I've already like ruined it a little bit. I'm not very good at taking care of books, I'm sorry. But yeah, this book is pretty interesting. There's like a lot of stuff that I've never even heard of in here, and that's why it's pretty cool, because I can look in here and be like, oh, I can eat that. I don't know if you guys have ever had this. It's called um, tun tuna. This is tuna. It is a prickly pear, is what I call it in English. And it is a cactus fruit. It's pretty good. The only thing that's like annoying about it is all the like all the like spines or seeds inside of it. But otherwise, it's a pretty juicy fruit. If you could get past that and not have to worry about spitting out all those things in there, then it would be an amazing fruit. But otherwise, it does have a good flavor. Um, if somebody put like that or like berries in front of me, I'd probably go for the berries just because, like I said, this is like kind of annoying to eat. But if that was on the table and there was nothing else, I would totally eat this. It has a good flavor. Um, and also eating the cactus leaves too. Um, no, nopales, they're pretty good. Um, I like to eat those with beans. You cook them first, obviously. I've always eaten them like boiled. And you mix that with like lemon juice and tomatoes and onions. And it's like a little salsa and you put it on top of beans or make little tacos or even put this in eggs and it's really good. So there's two things that I've eaten in this book. They're from the same plant though, so I don't really know if you call it two different things. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Uh, this is the book that I'm reading again, Forage in California. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And also check out my Patreon. Thanks for watching.